Recent studies in neuroscience have shown that the brain rewires during the 20 to 30 seconds after having done something, and that's when the new neural pathways are formed. In that rest period, that's when you're Not learning. Interesting enough when you're punching, I have a simple drill for you. All you need is a broomstick. Put the broomstick on the ground, put your feet either side. Number one, step forward. That's your stance. Number two, pick up the broomstick. Turn until it points, dead straight forward. Pivot, make sure it points all the way forward. You're turning a full 180 degrees when you do this. Practice this. One, two, three, four, body shots. Five, six, uppercuts, seven, eight. Put it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one rep. Second rep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Now the science part. You're going to do a block of 10. This is one block. This is called blocked practice. You do your practice in blocks. You're gonna do a block of 10. So 10 repetitions like that. You are then gonna take 30 seconds rest approximately. Recent studies in neuroscience have shown that the brain rewires during the 20 to 30 seconds after having done something, and that's when the new neural pathways are formed. In that rest period, that's when you're learning. You then repeat that block. I would suggest doing no more than five blocks per day, and you need to build up to 30 blocks because it takes approximately 300 repetitions to form a motor pattern or motor engram. Now, if you already have a fault, you've got a lot more work to do because it takes between three and 5,000 repetitions to correct a fault. This means you are going to be doing 10 times as many blocks. Take the time to do it. It's worth it because it means you get it right. Now, if you want to be really clever about this, what you do is you put that video of me there. You then have a mirror here and you practice in that mirror while watching me teach. Here's the clever bit. What's happening is you're seeing you, you're seeing me, and you bring these two things together like this. This is called closed loop motor feedback, okay? Now here's the science part again. Each repetition, each move must take longer than 0 0.6 of a second. If it takes longer than 0 0.6 of a second, then your brain doesn't have time to process what you're seeing there, what you're seeing there and bringing the two things together. So it takes longer than 0 0.6 of a second. If you want to look it up in a sports science book, sports psychology book, it's called an M3 motor reaction. Can I also suggest, because I do like to give people references, if you would like to read a little bit more about this, you can look up something called called Knowledge of Results and Knowledge of Performance. Look up KR versus KP, and that will give you the background reading for this. Now, there's not much of this on the internet, so I'd like to recommend a book, and I'll put a link to it in the description for it as well. And it's um, Principles of Motor Learning, I think it's called, by Schmidt and Reisberg. S-C-H-M-I-D-T and Reisberg, W-R-I-S. Berg. And uh, that is a great book and you'll find the, uh, the thing in there. But this is how you apply that science. I hope that helps you and your boxers have some brilliant technique.